Hi and welcome back. Today we are making loaded cauliflower. That's right, I did say loaded cauliflower. It's going to taste so good, you're going to want it up for your next barbecue. Alright, and what you will need is cheddar cheese, cauliflower, green onion. You're also going to need some cream cheese, bacon, sour cream, salt and pepper. So we'll go ahead and cut and wash the cauliflower and put it in this large pan to boil. And add some salt till tender. When a fork goes through it, it's nice and tender. You could take it out and just go ahead and drain it. We're going to need these green onions to be chopped up and held to the side. Just chop them up any size you like. I prefer mine small. And just keep it to the side. Next, we're going to get this cream cheese and go ahead and make it soft. I should have had it on the counter, you know, just so it could get soft real quick. But this is another way of softening it up. I know there's other ways, but this is the way I did it right. I went ahead and got me a fork and I started messing and smashing around that cream cheese. Now, once we have that, we're gonna add three tablespoons, I'm talking huge tablespoons of sour cream, and you're gonna mix this up real good. There goes my two little dollops there and let me go ahead and get this uh, mixed up real quick of course I'm just gonna go ahead and get this uh, as mixed as much as I can it doesn't have to be perfect I just want it all incorporated pretty much and I'm thinking I'm gonna need another dollop so that's three total okay so go ahead and get it all mixed up yep now i got my ingredients to the side my bacon i had it in my oven and i cut it up and crisp it and so now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to add two pats of butter so that's like two tablespoons of butter into the pan i'm going to add my cauliflower which i took out not too long ago It's nice and steamy and of course I'm gonna go ahead and get a spoon a fork you could get a masher and just start mashing it all up it doesn't matter as long as it's all mashed up you're fine smash 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 all right after this we're going to go ahead and add that mixture, the cream cheese mixture that we were making just a while ago. We're going to add it to this nice dish right here. And all you do is start mixing it up. This is so simple and easy to do, but it tastes so good. You're going to be amazed. I can guarantee you, you will be amazed. All right. Now got it pretty much nicely well coated throughout so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and mm, it looks so good I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of sharp shredded cheese it could be any cheese you like but I like I like mine sharp cheddar and add some of that crispy bacon Mmm, yum yum. All right, we'll just go ahead and mix this up real quick. Doesn't even take that long to do. I'm just, you know, showing you like, uh, but it's really simple and easy. And the reason I came up with this is because I'm trying to stay away from potatoes. And I love me a baked potato with my steak. So, I figured, why not cauliflower? So now, I'm going to go ahead and add my half a cup of cheese to the final uh, presentation, almost. Not really, but yeah, before I put it in this nice oven. I'm going to also add a little bit more bacon. So I, when I put the bacon, I, I actually baked the whole entire package. <laughs> okay, uh, so since I did that, 
I chopped it all up, but I made sure I kept some to the side to put on top. Now I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. And there you go. And you know what I'm going to do with those green onions? I'm going to put them on top. There you go. Now you could go ahead and get this served up. It's nice and warm. Mmm. Add that to your plate with that nice piece of steak. And let me tell you, when you bite this, you get to have a smile on your face. It is so good. Oh, oh! don't forget to add some pepper to this. Because mm. we already added the salt in the beginning. We don't need no more. I got my nice little Dr. Pepper here that I'm going to have with this. And let me go ahead and take a little sample. Since it's nice and hot. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is so delicious. I'm giving this a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you. And we have a review. Ooh, expert. Alright. Tell me how that tastes. It's actually like mashed potato. Really? A bit you... creamy. Mm-hmm. More more soft. You know, it has a really good flavor to it. Um and better choice to choose between the two. Is it delicious? It's good. Do you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. All right.